The frantic efforts to find those buried pauses only for the funerals of the few that have been found. I have 18 of my family members buried under the debris and soil that I am standing on, and a lot more family members in the village. I cannot count how many. Four days on from the disaster, and still only a handful of bodies have been recovered. Because at the disaster site, the recovery effort is continuing with the most basic of tools. Locals are still waiting for help to arrive. They need earth moving equipment. As you can see, boys are using water to remove the soils and rocks and everything. And we really need assistance. Those who survived and others displaced by the landslide are also desperately waiting for assistance. Currently, at the moment, there are a lot of survivors here, mothers, children, a lot of taking mothers, and uh, there's an elementary school that's buried, uh, fully buried. Only a small number of local officials, soldiers, and United Nations representatives have been able to reach the affected area so far. We're waiting for the authorities to uh, give approval to go in. Um, because the land is quite unstable. The Australian government is also on standby to help. PNG is a country with whom we have the closest of relationships and we have you know, offered whatever support we can provide in terms of dealing with this, uh, this disaster. There's been little information coming from the government apart from a brief statement by Prime Minister James Marape last week. His government, distracted by a possible no-confidence motion in Parliament, uh, even as the situation remains so desperate on ground. The victims of the landslide still waiting for help as the days draw on. Belinda Cora, ABC News, Port Moresby.